Hello, welcome to another Quick Look video from Silicon Labs. Nine months ago, Nikola Rakian, a solutions architect here at Silicon Labs, ported Doom to the SparkFun Thing Plus MGM 240p Matterboard and built a hardware platform to allow portable play. Looking for a new, more difficult challenge, he wanted to see if Quake could be run on the same EFR32 MG24 microcontroller. And as you can see from the video, he succeeded. To go with the new software, he also designed a new gamepad format based around the Arduino Nano Matterboard, featuring the MGM 240S System on Package version of the MG24. Though this Quake port can also be run on the older SparkFun based Doom hardware platform. For the software port, the full gameplay experience has been implemented. This includes enemy AI, game logic, monster behaviour, triggers, doors, secrets and teleporters. The 3D engine is also implemented in full, with static and dynamic lighting, turbulent surfaces and underwater warping, together with gurad shading on enemies, objects and particles. Stereo audio, including ambient, static and dynamic sounds are all in place. In addition to gameplay, the console is also implemented, where cheats can be activated. You can save your game with the exact game state, including both player and monster states and positions. The controls can be customised and settings, including the key mappings, gamma and sound volume, are all saved to non-volatile memory. With all these features, the game runs at an average of 27 frames per second typically between 17 and 45 SPS, at the 320 by 200 pixel resolution of the original game. All these features use the 276 kilobytes of RAM, which includes 20 kilobytes of radio RAM, as the radio is not used in this port, that are available in the board. The performance is achieved by overclocking the MG24 to run at 136.5 MHz. On the hardware side, the screen from Adafruit has a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels, with 320 by 200 being used for the game. There are 16 remappable push buttons, along with two analog thumbsticks, which are used for movement. Two 16 megabyte SPI flash ICs are used to store the game data, which is uploaded from an SD card. Stereo speakers provide sound and there is also a 3.5mm audio jack for headphones or external speakers. There is also a charging circuit for LiPo batteries. The PCB is designed for through hole only components to allow easy assembly. You can find more information on the project in the Silicon Labs community blog and if you want to go deeper check out Nicola's detailed blog on his personal website. The code and hardware files are available for download from GitHub. You can find links to all this information in the video description. Thanks for watching.